And we're back. Clubhouse, episode two. Got some exciting things ahead. Talking about the NFL trades, 22 straight round one wins, and an icebreaker. If you were a WWE wrestler, who would you be? Let's get into it. This episode is brought to you by Ricks. Eyewear that inspires confidence. Carefully crafted sunglasses, prescription, and blue light eyewear that's made to last. Use the code CLUBHOUSE to get 20% off site-wide. Head over to rickseyewear.com.au and shop all available styles now. Alrighty, let's get into the show. Here we go. Welcome back. Clubhouse episode two, season two. Uh, we've got the money man back. It says on the run sheet we missed you last week, mate, but um, went quite well. We're out of you really quickly. So, <laughs> no, how's everyone going, mate? We, uh, we we did miss you last week. We missed your, missed your banter and you've, mm. you've come in with the doggies jersey this week. So, you'll it's have to explain hard. that, but... Um, yeah, how you going, mate? Yeah, good, perhaps. Uh, thanks for having me on board again, boys, this year. Really, <laughs> uh, really appreciate it. I uh, just want to clear a couple of things up. Uh, did not take my clubs to Fiji. <laughs> Um, I used a high set and I hit 15 stable points. So uh, I'd like to think I hit a little bit better with my own clubs in Fiji. But um, yeah, it wasn't a great day for myself. But um, unfortunately, um, yeah, we no, we actually drew. So it was all right. So we had a right up uh, format and um, yeah, we picked our players. And um, yeah, it was against me and Mings, against obviously Paps and a couple other blokes. And Husey was on my team. And um, yeah, we obviously drawed. So yeah, it was a good day. But like Ken confirmed, well, she brought his own ones, eh? Yeah, well, she did, and uh, and the owner Matt Tripp um, brought his, and they still couldn't win. So that just shows um, where they're at. But anyway, but, um, anyway, Hughie, cool. how have you been, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Um, just been cruising, like Pap said. We did miss you last week. <laughs> um, but before I go any further, the kit. Talk to me. Yeah, what's doing? Talk to me. The kit that you bring in. I was seeing on on the on the potty last week that you took a bet with uh, Paps about top four with the dogs. I'm, I'm going to take you on that bet. Top four. <laughs> yeah, I'll right take that, mate. Um, I'm a diehard fan. Um, Jamal Eugen Hagen. I want to see four goals from you this weekend. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, Who they got yeah. this week? Uh, they got the D's. Um, so Welsh's Ooh. team. So it'd be interesting to see. They didn't have a great game against the Swans. So I'm guessing they'll be ready for the big blockbuster against the dogs with Gorney in the middle. So I reckon he's going to have a big one. But. Can't go past me, man, uh, Jamara. He's going to end up kicking four, and I can feel it. Mm. Oh, God, was big prediction straight mm. up. Yeah, we're responsible. We did get our predictions last week, so if you did want to start us off with that, I think we had top four. Yep. Um, Flag, Brownlow, and Coleman. Oh, Coleman as well. Oh, uh, obviously gr- uh, grand final. I'm going to go the doggies, mate. I'm going to jump on the yeah. bandwagon. Yeah, I'm going to jump on them, <laughs> I reckon, right. to win it. Um, What was the other one? Uh, top, top four. Top four. Smokey, give us a smokey. Give us a smokey. Give us something. Uh, smokey. You watch okay. a lot of AFL. Yeah, I do. Is that, I don't know if it's a smokey, but maybe Carlton? Uh, yeah. No, it's not a smokey, but no, yeah, no, I just think pretty impressive the other night. Yeah, I just think for them. Well, you looking at you got GWS, Lions, Collingwood. Swans. Swans. So they're, like, they're kind of a smoky when you think about it. Yeah. Mm. yeah okay. I'll give you that. I'll um, give you that. I don't think they're going to make the – obviously, they'll make the eight, but I reckon that's a smoky for top four when okay. you look at it. Give it that. Um, and uh, the brown low, I'm going to go my man, the Bond and Pelly. Oh, three from three. <laughs> three from three. <laughs> oh, you go as well? Yeah. No, I think he's having a big one. No pressure, mate. <laughs> um, and Coleman. Um, oh, Coleman, Coleman. Oh, maybe even – has a small forward even ever won the Coleman? Don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm thinking either Jamal, Jamara or Toby Green. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, not right. Bad. Yeah, Toby okay. Green. I feel like he's going to have a, an all right year. Yeah, okay. I think them two for me. What yeah. about yourselves, boys? Yeah, we went – I think we both went Bont for yeah, Brownlow. Bont and I went Larky for Coleman. I went Kerno. And Kerno. Yeah. So. Kerno. Oh. See how we go. See how we go. Jesus, Dixons no, are in. Everyone's so in. Um, you definitely pick some, t- pick some Smokies, boys. Yeah, AFL Kano. this week. So, obviously, Kano. opening Didn't he round. Did last year, Kenna? I think so. Two in a row. Yeah, he's gone back yeah to that's back. what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty sure. Well. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, it's good to have you back, man. And uh, Thanks, very interested to hear your answer for the icebreaker of the week, mm-hmm. which is if you could be a WWE wrestler in their prime, who are you going to be mm. and why? Mmm. Mmm. Have you done this yet? Or is I've I've got mine. Yeah, I've got. I've got. Oh, I'm, I'm humming and hurrying between two. Who you got? You go first. Oh, you go first. Yeah, Pat, so I've got, got yours. I've got Randy Orton. Oh, RKO. Yeah, that. RKO. I don't know. There's something about him back in the day. I think he's just he was just a beast, and now he's he's still wrestling. Yeah, bro. Mm. I've he's seen still that. going around. So. I've seen that. 
Um, why I just think he just he just dominated. Yeah, and he, did, yeah. he was a bit of a bad guy too. Like yeah, he was a bit of that sneaky. Just, the yeah. store, his look, he had that slimy look. He had that slimy look about him. He was just mm. a good wrestler. So. You can trust yeah. him, I reckon. Randy Orton. He, he, yeah, you can trust him. <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah. that about you. No. No, nah, just um, for his wrestling talent, obviously. Yeah, uh, I feel you. Um, I'm tossing up between Rey Mysterio or John Cena. Oh, Rey Mysterio. I you were a John Cena. I'm going to go John Cena, yeah, man. You can't see me this time <laughs> now. Yeah, I'll go John Cena. Yeah. You rocked um, the John Cena haircut a couple yeah, times, yeah, actually. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have the old army cut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go John Cena. I just like the way he done his... Um, uh, we have a five knuckle shuffle off the um, the top rope sometimes. Oh, yeah. Well, not the top cool. rope, so off the ropes. So, yeah, I'm gonna go John Cena. I know. Yeah, I was a massive wrestling fan when I was a kid, eh? Like, like real bad, like, <laughs> like wrestling all my mates on yeah. a trampoline and stuff. It was, <laughs> it was actually real bad. I think we all went through that era just quietly. Yeah, probably, yeah well, probably. And I remember my, my sisters used to give me so much shit saying it's fake, and I used to like, like get filthy at them, <laughs> like legit fire up. No, look at it. It's real. And He's just bleeding. like start crying and shit. When <laughs> so I was full on, eh? But um, Rikishi. I used to. <laughs> uh, oh. I used to love The Rock, eh? Like I used to. Mm. Yeah, The Rock was my main man. But sort of as I grew older, I sort of grew off him a little bit. Yeah. Um, I don't know why, but when I was young, yeah, he was my favorite. And but the older I got, and I looked back at the wrestling, I reckon Stone Cold. Eh? He mm. was, I reckon, just the way he was. He was like a bad man. Didn't give a, didn't give a stuff about anyone. He yeah. just come out, and his entrance song was mad. Like it hits the, the um, glass shattering, and he Yo. just rocks out, just ruthless. So. so that was your era. Eh? Like that must have just that was just before me. I reckon. Yeah, like, that was yeah, still yeah. around. I reckon Randy Orton. That were a little John bit Cena, after that. Yeah. Randy Orton, yeah. Carlito. Yeah, Carlito. Uh, God, oh, the edge, the, the edge, edge, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, it was like Chris WWF, Jericho, yeah. I reckon. Mm. That was probably a little bit before me, but and Eddie. then WWE was fuck. There's some good Dudley Brothers, era. yeah. Dudley yeah. Brothers, the Hardy Brothers, Mick Foley. Um, yeah. Did they call him? Was Sean Mark? Was Sean Michaels there? Mankind, yeah. Triple H, yeah. Triple, yeah. H. Triple, H. Triple, H. Triple H. I think they had DMX. wrestling over in Perth. Actually, our yeah, good mate Reese Evans went over. Yeah, took his kids over. That's crazy. Looked pretty cool. Yeah, looked like everyone still. Yeah, he was there. Is he in it now? You know, I actually got approached. I think they had a tryout. Yeah, I remember you saying <laughs> they this, had a actually. tryout for this in, um, I think in Perth, and they sort of sent me a message, and I didn't believe, like, I didn't believe it, but it had like a blue tick, and like it was a recruitment thing, eh? and I was like, whatever. But it was the WWE asking me to go to their tryouts, and I was like, sorry guys, I'm contracted, I can't, I can't go. But <laughs> I'll send my notes for you. I said, I said I'm off contract in 2026, 20, so not oh, back then. But wait, what about that? Um, yeah, but <laughs> what would your name be if yeah, you were a wrestler? I was oh, who, who, I what know, kind man. of wrestler would Pat what would be, I wear? You I don't know. Mm. I probably wouldn't wear the budgies. Um, <laughs> I'm probably going like the long pants with like the boots, sort oh, of yeah. like like cane style. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Because I'll have the locks flowing, bit yeah. of a headband, no shirt, headband. You reckon? No or shirt. Singlet. Yeah, yeah nah. no shirt. Oh, maybe shirt long. like loose, like not like loose singlet, but like a one of those. What do they call them? The muscle tees. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. wear that. Have my logo on the front, flowing yeah. here. What's that guy's name? Is it face? Face. Face. Is it your face? <laughs> you try to. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, what's his no. name? He's he's, he's he's kind of friends with um no. Oh, okay. It'll hit me. It'll hit me when I when I least expect it. We'll be talking about something else. <laughs> yeah. So, the on that, did you actually reply? Did you? Yeah, reply I to replied. Them? I said, I uh, like it's a bit hard with footy. Obviously, yeah, like yeah. I can't just break a contract. And yeah. um, but no, it was pretty cool because like, I was the same. I was a massive wrestling fan back in the day. Like yeah. I, this sounds so strange, but like I used to go like in my parents' room on their bed because it was like the bouncy ass bed. Yeah. And like take my teddies on there and like oh, RKO them, exactly jump off the, the top same. rope, like exactly <laughs> commentate, you know, right. like and I had my little figurines too. So once I got yeah. too big to be jumping around, I'd go in my room and just play with them in the, like the little wrestling ring. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So yeah. good. I, I still got all my like wrestling dolls at home too. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I have to get them in. I, um, to I in. used to buy the WWE um, video games. Eh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they went used hard. To, yeah, I used SmackDown to, versus Raw. Yeah, 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 yeah that was great. Batista bombing everyone, like using the finishes and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, we could talk it. all night. Yeah, I know. We were legit good. <laughs> Tables, ladders, chairs, good matches. Yeah. Far oh. out. Even on the DS. Did you ever play on the DS? No. Nah. Oh, that was good fun. But I was on PS3 or 4. PS3 I, I didn't four. afford I couldn't afford a DS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun time. So, Randy Orton, John Cena, and the Rock. Stone the Rock. Cold or The Rock. Yeah, yeah right. Very you interesting. Got the ring, like, the rock bottle, mate. Yeah. <laughs> um, and obviously in really good moods uh, this week. Good results. Uh, just gone Friday night. So... Mm. Um, yeah, I guess we'll talk about that a little bit, but yeah, 22 straight, I think it is, 22 round one wins in a row, and um, 
I guess Craig's been asked about it heaps this week. And yeah. He's like, oh, well, I'm not playing. And he's yeah. very humble about it. But, um, yeah, I think we realise how big it is now. And, yeah, it was a good result. Really good turnout. Crowd was outstanding. And I think even in some of our reviews this week, we sort of spoke about, like, you couldn't hear the was, people yeah. next to you. So credit to everyone uh, in Melbourne who turned out. It was, uh, yeah, great spectacle, great first game to be a part of. And, yeah, Hughes, you had your feel out there. Yeah, it was good. Um, obviously a good win and good performance from the boys and uh, quite tough going at their back end of the game. There was, I think it was like 65 minutes ball and play, which was yeah, crazy. Wow. It was like, Huge. I think the average is like 55. So mm. um, the whole right edge was cramping at one stage there. We were all <laughs> down on um, getting a stretch. But yeah, it's one of those games where you're just doing it tough, but you just hear the crowd get behind you and it just makes you give that little bit extra. So I reckon... Mm. Yeah, big shout out to the the crowd from getting behind us, and um, yeah, it was a good game. Good, good to I guess get a win against them guys. They're you know the obviously the top of the top of the cream at the moment, and um, you know it was good to get a win and just hitting the zero as well. Like mm-hmm. you know we try pride ourselves on defence and to to be able to keep that you know that team with so many good players to zero was you know massive for us. So just about uh, being consistent now with it. Yeah. How about uh, up in the box, man? You're up in the coach's box, chewing mm. your nails. Yeah, I was chewing my nails. I literally got no nails <laughs> left. Uh, I had to sign like a confidentiality agreement um, <laughs> with Billy Ake. Uh, he wouldn't let me disclose anything that was said in the box. He's pretty ruthless when it comes to that kind of stuff. But, <laughs> yeah, he's quite a um, yeah, I was, I was just on the with Hughes. He's just um, crazy how we obviously kept the team to zero um, with that kind of pl- caliber of players that are playing against you. And I thought the boys dug deep, made it like made it hard on ourselves as a, as a group, but. Uh, just on that 22, like, it just shows how hard the preseason is here. Like, mm. the last 22 years, obviously, Belly has got it right um, with, the, obviously, the playing group and the coaching staff. And you just see the three or four, first three or four rounds is all about fitness. And um, obviously, after that, starts the cream starts coming out and you start being able to execute and get that top, obviously, the game and play kind of stuff and be able to obviously execute what we want to do. And that's when there's the big, obviously, big moments come out and the boys are starting to get around it. Was there one moment in the box where you just like, just wanted to hide under the table because I did plenty of it the last couple of years. <laughs> There's a few times where you're just sitting on the edge of your seat just going, fuck, like, don't fucking spray me. I can't do anything yeah. about it. <laughs> oh, there was um, well, there was one moment where someone done really something really well and he goes, fuck yeah, I've, 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 that's why I picked him. <laughs> oh, fuck. And then I started giving him shit about it. Like, I think it was about a minute and a half, two minutes left and I'm like, Fuck yeah, Belly Egg, we won. Yeah. He's like, don't you fucking dare say that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck off. And I'm like, no, I wanted to go shake his hand. He was like, don't you come near me. And I'm like, oh, that's sweet. And then yeah, obviously he was happy. And then he started cheering once the obviously the Fahuda went. But uh, he's just an emotional roller coaster oh, in game oh, time, isn't he? Like there's, ticking time bomb. There's no there. regulating his emotions, is nah, there? It's nah. just you let him go. You yeah. let him go. You can't even, you don't want to say anything. It's actually quite scary. Like, you're too scared to say anything to him because you don't know how he's going to react. <laughs> Obviously, he's not going to do anything. But um. the best part at the end of the game was um, he went up to Bronson, turned around, and said, "Don't you fucking tell anyone what's been said in the box." <laughs> I said the exact same stuff about you. <laughs> I was laughing. That's I was the like, thing I reckon. After being up there, like you can like, there's moments in the game where you just like, "Fuck." I know exactly what he's saying right now, oh, but yeah. but I don't know. Like you sort of know it's not coming from a. A bad place. Nah. It's just like he's getting it out there, and yeah, I just, think he does a really good job of doing it. And then coming down at halftime and actually delivering a message that's yeah, yeah. quite instructive. And yeah, I think that's probably. I didn't play on his early on day, early in his coaching career, but all yeah. reports he sort of carried it down with him at halftime. But yeah, yeah. now times are a bit different. So yeah. definitely change with the times. So that's what I've heard anyway. Yeah, but no, really good win. Um, everyone's really happy. We got another big game this week, so. Uh, Usually our Anzac Day game, but we've got the Warriors round two this year. So um, I don't know what happened there, but they've got their Anzac Day game in New Zealand against the Titans and we play in Melbourne against the Bunnies. So mm. big game this week, Amy Park, Saturday night, 7.30, I think yep. kickoff is. Kickoff, yep. And yeah, what if, what's sort of impressed you about the Warriors? They obviously had a tough loss last week, but we watched the first half in the sheds and they, mm. they looked really good. So. Yeah, I'm not too sure on the Anzac Day game because I remember last time we played Manly on one of them days at Anzac Day because it was something regarding anniversary or something with the, obviously the uh, Anzacs that were from New Zealand. So yeah. I don't know if they've got something like a memorial or something big, yeah, big occasion. Yeah. So that's why we're not playing on this year because I remember it happened a couple of years ago when we played Manly. So they might be doing something similar to over there. But gotcha. oh mate, they've they've been pretty good the last probably year or two with obviously Webster taking over. So. They know their style of footy um, and obviously big bodies and 
It's good to see Johnson playing some good footy again. Um, he played really good last year. And yeah, that little young fullback, Tua, he's going all right. So, um, yeah, I'm sure he'd be keeping chance on his toes. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I know they've got a big back three and I'm sure we've got to do a good job on them on Saturday night. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, like Munn said, they've been, you know, they've played really well the last year or two. So, um, you know, I know they're going to want to come here and, you know, play really well against us. And um, like I said before, we just need to back up what we done last week and, um, there was a few things we wanted to work on in our attack, but um, if we can, you know, keep that steely defence, you know, it'll help us out uh, massively against these blokes because they got, you know, a lot of attacking attacking threats. And uh, it's good to see Roger back, actually, and come yeah. back from rugby <laughs> union. Well, it's not good to see him because you, you don't want to <laughs> be one-on-one on one with but... him. Yeah, but it's good to have him back in the game. He's, yeah. you know, such a quality player. So uh, be good to see him. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you don't get put, put on ice skates <laughs> by him, that's for sure. You're young, you'll be having flashbacks. Yeah. You'll be happy he's not playing this year. Yeah. Um, but no, it takes you to our next segment. Obviously, uh, we've got a sponsor on this year, man. So you missed that last week, but Rick's Eyewear. Mm. So we've got a little segment, the eye-catching moment of the week. And no, it's not my eye. It is a different one. Mm. Uh, we will talk about anything sort of sport-related, something that's popped out, caught our eye. But first of all, we'll throw on the shades. Um, so I'll let you start off, Husey. Yeah, my... Actually, it's a pretty, like, we just talked about it, but 21 uh, yeah. round one wins. Um, and I'm going to put, I'm going to leave it up to Belzer because obviously he's, he's had different teams come through those 21 years and for him to be able to do it, you know, 21 round one games straight, it's crazy. So um, shout out to Belzer. It's, well, like Munn said, it's definitely the, you know, the preseason. Obviously, it's a hard preseason, but it works to get, get you ready for that round one game and, um, to win, you know, 21 in a row is absolutely crazy. So yeah. shout out to Belzer. Shout out to the rest of the coaching uh, staff. Is and it Omaki. 21 or is it 22? 22, I think. Is it? 22. Yeah. He said, yeah. He said 21. Oh, 21. Sorry. He said 21. 22. Can you do 22. something from there? <laughs> yeah. uh, but no, shout out to uh, Craig. I'm sure he's listening. And uh, the rest of the coaching staff. Marky Bretnell tunes in. So yeah. Yeah. big shout out to our attack coach, Marky Bretnell. Big yep. part of that. Um, obviously, we only scored eight points, but um, just sort of our – Roles and clarity and attack definitely feels a lot yeah. more freshened and um, yeah, a lot more comfortable this year. So yeah, eight nil. But what well on Belzer and mm. what well on all the other coaches? Uh, my Rick's eye catching moment of the week is Luka Doncic. Oh Lulu, seven straight games with triple doubles. Mm. Like I won a couple yeah, of games on his triple six, doubles. Six oh. in a row with thirty point Crazy. triple doubles. Yeah, like that's just. I don't think people realize how hard. Like that would be, yeah. <laughs> like he is, he's just an absolute freak. That's that's why he's my, uh, he's my eye catching moment of the week. Does he, does he get MVP? I was just about to ask. Oh, oh, is now? Well, who's is anyone ineligible? Like who's out? MB's because of the game. MB's out. MB's he was a dollar ten at one stage. Oh, that's it. I think jo- Jokic is Jokic. Yeah, he's he's, he's just he's, always going to be there. Yeah, and shy. Yeah, he's a chance. That's probably it. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's held a chance. Luka Doncic. Like, with Luka putting up those numbers, yeah. though, like. It's what crazy. Whatever Sabonis, he puts up numbers too. Yeah, but yeah, know, not, like so, not as consistent. He's just forgetting about. He's forgotten yeah. about. I don't know why. Maybe it's just like yeah, yeah. something about he's him. Always, not, always, he's always the same. He doesn't yeah. seem like dominant, but he just racks it up. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's true. My yeah, no, yeah look, but maybe because he's not the biggest guy on their team. Like Fox has been going yeah, well, and yeah, well. Like, yeah, that's true. Sabonis is never the top never dog. The where Luca, Joker, they are all top dogs. Yeah. Shout out Luka Doncic. Yeah, um, yeah mate, if you feel like sharing that. Yeah, just I know you're watching this. So. Repost it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, man, you're the uh, eye-catching moment of the week. Yeah, mine's um, a little bit about the NFL. Um, yeah. re- obviously, trades and that. Um, Philly getting rid of Swift for Barkley. Mm. Uh, that's a massive – I don't mm. know if I'm going to be too keen if I was a Giants fan. That's a huge plus for the Eagles. Um, but they haven't really struggled with running game anyway. They're probably more – struggling with their passing game. So hopefully yeah. Jalen can get that sorted next year. And then uh, the Broncos uh, getting rid of uh, Russ for 30, was it 39 mil? Yeah, it was something. So they're still paying him. They're still paying they're still 38 paying mil, 38, no, 38 or 39 yeah. mil. 38 mil, I think. And then 1.2. The Steelers, Steelers picked them up for 1.2. So I don't know if that's a bargain buy or what. But That's a bargain buy. And like, then, I was thinking like Russ Wilson, he's not you, that good. Like you wouldn't want him in your team, but for one point. Well, the fact, that, the fact that Munster's on Russ is pretty cool. Yeah. 
You're yeah. on 1.5. Uh, so you're worth more, you're worth more <laughs> than Russell. Russell. So what are you saying is I'm the same caliber player as Russ? <laughs> I'm yeah, husband. I guess I'm, so. I'm, gone. Yeah. I'm, br- I'm brown bread. I'm brown bread. Yeah. And then Kirk Cousins, the favourite son. Yeah. Gone Atlanta. from uh, huge. Gone from uh, Minnesota Soda. Vikings to uh, the Falks. That's huge too. That's I thought massive. he was loved. Big. So big, big just goes to show, boys. Contracts are not not, not void at the moment. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything. I'll be going somewhere soon. By the sound of it. Yeah, there there's go. a few things that happen actually. And, Bonjour. Um, Josh Jacobs as well mm. went to the Packers. And they, they got, got rid, rid of Aaron, Aaron Jones. Jones. Yeah, that's huge too. Oh. A few moves actually. I woke does it, up. Does woke it make any teams like significantly better? Well, maybe it's hard to tell maybe Felkson with with Kirk Cousins yeah, going there. Yeah, but I think to be this, fair, like yeah, Falcons got, still need a bit more, but. I reckon Kirk makes him. Uh, they they've needed a quarterback for what a was while. Their, so. What was their record? Do you know their record last year? Falcons. Falcons? Yeah, nah, and they were they weren't, they they were weren't that good though. Yeah, they weren't right. great. Um, Pollard left the Cowboys too. Actually, um, who would he go? Did he go Titans. I don't think he signed anywhere. Oh, yet. they got rid of him. They waived him. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. No, Titans. He's at oh, Titans. Oh, is it yeah. Titans? Yeah, he's Titans. Yeah, three year deal. Three year deals. Yeah, wow. And you just think things are going well, well for you. The King Henry, then he must. Yeah, he's he gone. gone there. Derek yeah. Henry. Love you, Andy. Is that look? This like, this it's like the, the biggest action there's been in the NFL. For, like, cause I I follow it, but I don't follow it that yeah, closely. It, but it seems like it's made quite a. Yeah, I reckon <laughs> it does a little, little bit, but like I think all that happened in like one like overnight, yeah. like yeah. one day over there. And so, there's yeah. a fair few big names in there as well. Yeah. That probably well, is it. Um, Jones as well. The the, the DT. Yeah, he, he re-signed with Chiefs. Yeah, he re-signed, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Because similar happening, like, I remember everyone waiting in the, for the trade di- deadline in the NF, um, NBA. Yeah. And, yeah. like, everyone was waiting, 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 and, and not nothing happened. Yeah, nothing it was happened. Like, yeah. So how long is this deadline open for? Like, what's... Month? Nah, this is just it's off-season. Just, oh. This is sort of off-season. So they don't have, like, a trade deadline. They do, but it's, it's, in. it's later on, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. this is happening. If all these moves are happening now, well, like, I couldn't imagine what's going to be happening in the, in the, obviously, trade... All right, guys, that wraps up our eye-catching moment of the week brought to you by Rick's Eyewear. Um, for our Clubhouse listeners, make sure you hop on the website, uh, type in the code CLUBHOUSE for a 20% discount. So uh, make sure you get them quick. Uh, the ones i got on now are outstanding. Very, very good. But uh, 20% discount, so don't miss out uh, with the code CLUBHOUSE. So that's our segment, eye-catching moments of the week. Thanks, Rick's. We're actually going to jump into NBA right now, actually. I was going to ask how our teams are going, and it's probably quite relevant because mm-hmm. you both got a couple teams, <laughs> um, especially Husey. Yeah, who, uh, Husey. I think I think I know who you're going for at the moment. Yeah, who? Such a thing. Uh, I think you're with the Suns at the moment. Yeah, and but yeah, and the Wizards. Hey. And no, not the, the Celtics. Wizards, the Celtics. There we go. <laughs> That's what I remember saying. The, the Suns sea. and the Celtics. Oh, yeah, no, it's everyone in the everyone in the East. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> everyone that's with it. Nah. <laughs> yeah. What about Jordan Poole? Wizards. Gone. They actually officially um, can't make the finals, mm. playoffs, Done. and it's not even just finished over halfway. So, oh, no. unfortunately, that's quite disappointing. Um, but lucky enough, I got two other teams to cheer on. <laughs> Obviously, Bradley Beal went to the Suns, yeah. one of my favorite players. So that's. That's allowed. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's um, play on. And obviously Tatum and the Celtics got to meet Tatum back in the day. So obviously he <laughs> said, you must follow the Celtics now. So I said, okay, mate, I got gotcha. you. So I'll be cheering on the Suns and the Celtics. So. And they're going pretty good. They're Celtics, going pretty good. Celtics are up there. Yeah. And Suns are amongst them. Suns are going all right. They're, they could be going better. Like They got yeah. some good players. They just need a bit more, you know, a bit of bench to help out, mm. you know, Book and KD and Beal. So. Do you reckon one of them should just bite the bullet and pl- come off the bench? Yeah, maybe just to help that bit. I think just have a better second unit. Yeah, yeah just to help them out a bit, or the way they. Uh, I don't know. They rely on Grace and Allen a fair bit with the Suns mm. or when they're he's off. A gun man, he's. Yeah. I know he's good. He's been popping they, off too. Bill might be able to help him off the bench, but mm. it was KD won't play off the bench. How so. about your uh, your Bucks man? Little lad's been popping off lately. Yeah, a little pick and roll with uh, Giannis. I don't mind Bobby Portis. I love Bobby Portis <laughs> off the bench. Just love him. Brings a bit of energy, he doesn't he? Like, yeah. I love the way he goes about it. Um, a bit disappointed we lost Holiday. Not gonna lie, but then he's mm. gone to the Celtics. So um, we, I reckon at the start of the year we probably weren't great defensively. Starting to get there a little bit, but yeah, I'm a I'm a massive Giannis fan. So hopefully we're going right. We'll be right. We'll come back in. That'll, yeah, that'll be around. Right. Lillard played really well in this All Stars game, but I haven't seen that kind of game from him since. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
He's like he, he started off pretty slow. Mm. Yeah. He's starting to come into I feel into like they're just building though. Like yeah. you look at the, the Bucks, the way they've been going, they started slow and they're just slowly getting up there. So they know what to do to get like there. Like they, they play well against the really good teams mm. and then they struggle to beat the teams that are like middle Average, class. Yeah. Like it, I think one stage who got them? I think it might have been the Jazz got them. Mm. Jazz oh, got yeah. them a couple of times, yeah. And like and all, actually the Hornets got them as well. It's oh. those games, man. So it's just frustrating, but yeah. it is it's a bit like myself, inconsistent. <laughs> Ma- the magic peps. Magic are yeah, flying. They are. Magic are flying. I thought Big there was sexy. a little little period there where we dropped back in like yeah, the yeah, play-in they, they, sort of yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah. And I thought like we'll probably end up there, but then we went on a streak and now we're – Equal fourth in the East. Pablo, so. big Pablo Escobar. <laughs> yeah, big Ben Caro. He's um he's playing well. We had a pretty rough loss to Indiana the other day. I think like they're just below us, so it sort of hurts. Leveled us out. Yeah, but, up, but, yeah. Um no, it's good. Like, I seriously thought like we start well a lot of the time and then we drop off, but we've sort of we've been there. We've yeah, been there. Yeah, so yeah. fourth in the East, I'll be stoked if they can make the playoffs, not the play in, because I think we're screwed if you yeah, make the play in. Yeah. It's a tough gig. You'd rather be in there than not be in it, but yeah. No, I think so. And that's it's good pieces going forward. I think we sort of finally start to figure out and um Joey Ingalls too. Mm. Smoking Joe. Aussie, Aussie Joe, Jingles. he's over there and mm. he's uh I think he's like a father figure to all yeah. the boys. You sort of see him like take the piss out of him and I think it, that's that's so important in American sports, just having someone who can break that tension because yeah. like the egos are so it's different, pretty, eh? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you can just yeah, but he he breaks it up and I can see that and um yeah, I guess in a team environment, you sort of know how special those guys are to have around. So, yeah, yeah Joey Ingles has been killing it. I like, um, Cole. I like Anthony Cole off the bench. He's a little, a little energizer bunny. Yeah. Cole, Cole he's Anthony. So oh, is it Cole Anthony? Cole Anthony. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony Cole. Cole. <laughs> 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 no, he's, Cole. He's, he's, and it's hard because he's got like, he's got Suggs. They got yeah, Anthony. Good. They got Houston. Like they've got these guys who can just shoot, but. Yeah. They're not getting as many minutes as they probably would nah. if they played for the Wizards oh, or yeah. something. <laughs> uh, I'll get bloody minutes at the yeah. Wizards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, but um, I guess a little prediction about halfway, Mark. Who's going to win it? I've got a couple little bets on the Celtics, but I've also got the Clippers. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I like the Clippers too, actually. Mm. That's me. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I can't get past my team, the box, but no, oh, I, I just think if um, – I don't know. If the Lakers can get in a play, and I don't mind them as a smoky. Yeah, yeah I don't mind the Lakers as a smoky. Yeah, they've sort of just been... Mm, yeah, they've um, been ticking along, yeah. 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 They've been beating I, some good teams as well, though. But. I just think if AD can get it right aggressively, like I, I think they can they can get it done. Yeah, no, that's fair. I, I can't go past the Celtics, eh? They're looking too good at the moment, but... The other, like, Nuggets, I, I feel like you just can never count the Nuggets out. Like, Joker's just... I don't know why he just does some crazy stuff. So yeah, be yeah. interesting to see. But I'm I'm back in the Celtics. It's a different sure. ball game. Ugly as fucking three from. But he gets, it gets him in. Gets him in. Just drains it. But oh, like yeah. it's just so it. like seven game series. Like, mm. It's just a different ball game, eh? Yeah. Like the Bucks lose to the Hornets one game throughout the season, but yeah, have another three games and not losing. Yeah, you know? like yeah. just do you reckon it's because they they do more homework on the team after they play them the first time? I just think there's only so much you can do. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's only so much mode you can play. And, like, you think of the Celtics, like, front court. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you look at their whole roster. Yeah. Their second unit's probably not really strong, but they yeah. got guys that just, like, role Good players. Job, and, like, yeah. like, you got Pazingas, Jalen Brown, Tatum. Yeah. Derek White's been balling. Yeah, Derek White. Like, you, got Horford, the, you got Horford. Oh, like, how's up? How's he hit, yeah, hit 22 today? Yeah. Just hits three. Just hits three. He's like, I oh, am Pritchard too. Little yeah. Peyton Pritchard. Little yeah. Minx. What about and this for? Holiday as well. Yeah, Jay Roo. <laughs> <laughs> what about this for a thought? Finals, NRL, series. Well, like, like you games? wouldn't be able to do it because it would be so hard. But like, say a three-game series. Shorten the, shorten the season to play like yeah. one once, team. One, once one, one team. Uh, yeah. Like you play them once. Yeah. And then like a what, two or three game? Yeah, three games. Best of three. Ooh. Series. Do you have a plan? So you have top s- four, and then the top, the, the bottom four of the eight have to play, play a plan, in. or it'd be top eight, and then you'd go seven, yeah. eight, nine, ten playing. That's what I was. Yeah, that's what I was but that oh. probably that'll probably drag on too long. Yeah, if you got to have a couple games. And I reckon the playing. Yeah, you go. You go. Yeah, I reckon it'd be good. Like it shows you. I reckon that's the one thing about it. Like seven games that you actually can see who the best team is mm. like because you don't like if you get away with one game you don't get away with the rest so yeah. it'd be pretty cool but like it would take ages because everyone needs a seven day turnaround so it'll be <laughs> it'll go long Imagine into that, the year yeah. or 
the playing games are like a 40 minute game. Oh, just that, it. yeah. Just that. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we're getting too far. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you could do some cool stuff though. Like it would be pretty cool having a three game series yeah. or maybe yeah. just the, the GF yeah. is a three game three series. Games. Yeah, that'd be cool. And yeah. what would you do? Like home, away, and neutral? No, yep. So yeah, home, away, neutral. Yeah. Or whoever finished highest gets the two home games. Oh, yeah. So like, like Origin that. sort of stuff. Yeah, up. sort of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but even in Origin, they go Queensland, Sydney, and then they go Perth. Or, yeah. But yeah, but yeah, like, you've got to probably pick a big venue that's how everyone's going to be going to, you know? Yeah. You uh, do, like, you could pick, like, for example, like Cronulla Sharks Field for the first one, and then Mel Elmi Park for the second, and then take the game to Sydney, but at the big stadium. Yeah. You can go, yeah, Sydney or go up or to Vegas. Queensland. Vegas. <laughs> three games in Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> All three games in Just Vegas. Grand final in Vegas. Everyone, Let's just take every game yeah. over there. Jesus Christ. It's going to be a fair few blokes on over in the scrum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you just watch much NRL this weekend? Yeah. Yeah, I did watch a fair bit. Um, yeah. I've been sitting on the couch doing nothing. So I <laughs> went <laughs> on to Jackson and Jagger. So yeah, no, it's been, um, been pretty good. Um, Watched the game Thursday. Um, that was uh, that was Knights and Canberra. Yep. Mm. Um, I thought Canberra were really dominant. Um, held the ball, completed really well. Didn't really do anything flashy. Mm. Um, and obviously Knights just didn't complete and try to do too flashy stuff and try to shift too much. So yeah. I think that will probably change their mindset this week. Um, but yeah, I felt like Raiders just did everything they needed to do. They didn't play flashy. They just did their normal stuff, kick, get to a kick, and obviously strangled them and then won pretty convincingly. Yeah. So. I think it was good to see that game and then sort of know what we had to do What's the next gonna, night, yeah, yeah. Like what it takes. So, um, no, I didn't, I didn't watch too much to be fair. I was sort of watched bits here and there, but mm. I literally forgot it was on after our game finished. Like, <laughs> just, yeah. just felt like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think because he had a couple of days off, so just tried to get away Chill from out, it. Yeah. Um, no, did you watch anything, Husey? Or you? No, nah, I didn't watch, yeah. didn't watch much at all, to be honest. Um, yeah, apart from the Thursday game and that little bit of the Sharks game before ours. Uh, I watched the Dolphins and the Cowboys, yeah. yeah. Watched the boys play. It looked like it was a hot day up there in Brizzy. <laughs> so, um, text Pork this morning, actually, seeing how he how he was. And he was, yeah, saying it was not a good time <laughs> to be playing in the middle. <laughs> Daytime no. up in Queensland. So, shocking. Um, yeah, nah, just been. I watched a little bit of Para and do- Dogs. That was a decent game. Um, I felt oh, Para obviously would dominate. Dominated and pretty um, strong performance from him, but I watched that a fair bit too. Mm. It was sad to see uh, Foxy uh, hurt his shoulder. Yeah, too he short. Looked, he looked, actually, I watched a bit of that. Yeah. And he looked sore. Eh? Yeah. He just, I think he's got a, I don't know if it was an AC oh. thing, and he was like running off one arm. Oh, he didn't yeah. look good. Those eh? things are pain. Have you, have you done ACs? Yeah. Done yeah. Both, yeah. Mine's still screwed, eh? We've he seen. stayed out there for a bit. <laughs> Poor Foxy just yeah, uh, you can it wasn't running just, well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He was doing the Marika Corbidi when he done his shoulder, like, old, like, like a chicken wing. Chicken wing. Oh, so, no, he, uh, he definitely looked like he was struggling out there. But so, send my, all my recovery wishes to you there, Foxy. Tough. It's a, t- it's a tough injury. Like, it's one of those ones that you can probably play through, but you just feel like you got nothing in you. Mm. Like, you can't throw the ball or no. – especially his game where he's diving in the corner or yeah. jamming well, like, Even when he's sprinting, it would yeah, hurt actually. him, I reckon. But, like, it's techie. Yeah. And um, to speak about some uh, footy talk, man. I seen uh, Jackson with the footy tee out. Oh yeah. Mm. Hopefully he's not oh, getting lessons off his old man. Boys ain't wearing the <laughs> I've seen a few videos of him with the mouth guard and he's yeah, the, bros, the, there, bros, the bros, the bros trying to play. <laughs> he's trying know, to mate, get out there. I turned the TV on the other day, footy was on, it would have been Thursday and he was like, daddy, footy, footy, dad, <laughs> footy. I was like, no man, I'm not playing anymore. Mate. Yeah. I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, nah, mate, he just loves the footy, gets the tee. I don't know how he, I don't know, I've never taught him to put the footy on the tee. He just. Must be watching um, too much footy on TV when I'm putting it on. Because he's got a right foot. Yeah, got a left yeah, foot, eh? Yeah, no, I thought he, I thought I got him left-handed to golf clubs, so I thought he might have been left-handed. <laughs> so I might have to go and take them back. Um, but yeah, no, he, I don't know where he gets that run up from. Must get it from his from his mum, but <laughs> he definitely kicks like me. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, it doesn't go that far, um, <laughs> and definitely goes the other way. So no, nah. he's loving his footy at the moment. I'm trying to get him into golf clubs, but yeah. into golf, but his attention spans not great at the moment. <laughs> a bit like his dad. <laughs> Oh, that's gold. That's gold. I'm just happy to hear they're well, man, because um, yeah, like I said the man. other week, a bit crook. So um, that's good. But we've got also our Clubhouse Leader of the Week. Mm. Um, I think we just got a standout this week. It was a yeah, pretty special moment, Captain's Run. Um, Casey, our media lady, walked over to us and gave us a little present and told us it was from one of the fans. So uh, Meg Isabella, if you're watching, Thank you for the Storm Bracelets. They were the good luck charm for Friday night and you are our A Clubhouse Leader of the Week. So, Mm. um, yeah, thank you for that, Meg Isabella. Didn't have to do it, but 
Um, we do really appreciate it. They're really cool, yeah. Swifty inspired, and um, I think I'll wear mine to the games for the rest of the year after that result. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The boys have been <clears throat> rocking them a lot, actually. The mm. boys are still wearing them. Me and Pap's got ours. Mun, unfortunately, I'm didn't I didn't get his. Where, where did you get these? Uh, you would have been inside front. front. You would have been. <laughs> oh, I was inside doing, and doing yeah. what, what bike. bike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Tour de France. Yeah, Tour de France. Where's my yellow shirt? <laughs> Uh, but no, very, yeah, very nice very of you. Didn't have to do that, but we do appreciate it. So thank you, Meg. And uh, yeah, you're our clubhouse leader of the week. So um, I think that just about wraps us up for this week, lads. So mm. um, Chicken wrap. Yeah, man. Good luck to you. Oh, and Husey, good luck to your doggies yeah. this weekend. Go the dog. What day? Go the doggies. What day is Sunday. Sunday. So Who's North got? GWS. Oh, mm, that'd be a good uh, I think it's in Sydney. Oh. So... <laughs> Yeah, actually, the boys are the outing this week. Um, Storm boys going to the Richmond Carlton right. game. Yeah. yeah, we're going. The is it the opener? Well, I'm going to call it the opener because yeah. it's been the opener for the last couple of years. So the Melbourne yeah. opener. Yeah, the Melbourne opener. So yeah, that'll be good. that be massive. Ninety thousand, I think they're yeah. inspecting. So mm. um, yeah, we go and this is to be the first time have some we- grilled and. Mm. What, go over and watch the game? Watch the Tigers get up. Up the Tigers. <laughs> How many teams do you got? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, three and three. It's about time we've actually had a round game that no AFL team's actually playing on in Melbourne. So it's good to, it's good to see. Yeah. yeah. The last couple of years we've been playing on a Thursday and it's been running with the Carlton Richmond game. So mm. hope they get some fans on uh, Saturday against the Warriors. Boys, it'll be mm, interesting. Beautiful. Should be good. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you recover well, man. Need you back soon, mate. Nah, and mate, uh, just beat the Premiers. I'm, I'm two from two in the box anyway, Fiji <laughs> and uh, – Melbourne, so well, I'll keep the keep it going. Yeah, fair enough. Something right. gonna be in there. I'm the glue mate in that fucking box at the moment. <laughs> the karma. Um, no, thank you for listening, guys. Please subscribe to Oz American Aces if you can as well. Please like, follow, and comment on the podcast. Um, it is much appreciated. We all get a good laugh out of some of the comments, and uh, yeah. So thanks, guys, and we'll see you next week for episode three. Thanks to everyone that has tuned into the Clubhouse podcast. Please make sure you have hit the subscribe button on all our channels and also follow us on social media at Oz American Aces so that you don't miss out on any announcements. Catch Catch you at the clubhouse. Clubhouse. This episode is brought to you by Ricks, eyewear that inspires confidence. Carefully crafted sunglasses, prescription and blue light eyewear that's made to last. Use the code CLUBHOUSE to get 20% off site-wide. Head over to rickseyewear.com.au and shop all available styles now.